Well, hello and welcome to Bobby Shakes University. Um, I have a very small window to get this video done. I had surgery this week on my rectum. Talk about a pain in the fucking ass. Um, but anyway, let's try and get two likes on this video and let's try and get to 25 subs by the end of next week. Um, this video is going to be about real estate versus stocks. And my homie, Cereal Box, I usually play Call of Duty with. Well, there's four guys I play Call of Duty with. Me, I'm studying how to make more money. Cereal Box is studying the stock market. The other two guys are talking bullshit and eating tacos. But anyway, me and Cereal Box have made a decision. Hey, man, we, we, we got to make more money. And how are we going to make more money? Passive income, figuring out, he's figuring out the stock market. I'm filling out the real estate game. I don't like stocks. Um, he called me last night like, oh man, Bobby, you have to buy Apple stocks. So I'm like, I had 200 bucks in my Robin Hood account. Um, Cause I don't really, I, I hustle stocks. So basically I get you to join Robin Hood when you join, you get a stock, I get a stock, then I take that stock, then I sell that stock, save that money, and then buy a share in something that I do like. So that's how I, that's how I do Robinhood. So I, I, I'm into hustling stocks. Um, so I had $200 just hanging out in Robinhood, and I said, you know what? Let me buy Apple stock. So I bought Apple stocks, and it was at 117 last night. I bought it after hour. And I woke up this morning, it was at 120, and I was like, holy shit. I'm in the money. I made a couple of bucks. I'm up four bucks. The next thing you know, 120, 119, 118, 117, 116, 115. And then I said, screw it. I just threw my phone on the floor and said, I am done. The reason why I don't like stocks is because, A, I'd rather invest in myself than invest in a billion dollar company. A lot of people say, well, Warren Buffett makes a lot of money off stocks. Well, Warren Buffett is buying stocks for ownership in a country, in a company. I said country. Well, he would like to own the country. He probably does own the country. You're just buying two or three shares to make a couple of bucks. I mean, Warren Buffett is buying thousands and thousands of shares to sit on their board. So Warren Buffett buying stocks and me buying stocks is completely different. A lot of people like buying stocks over real estate because it's something you get into very quickly. Like I said, there's a link below. You could join my Robinhood account and you could be instantly trading as soon as I post this video. Damn, I'm spitting a lot. As soon as I post this video, you can click on the link below, sign up, link your bank account, Robinhood gives you a free stock, I get a free stock, and immediately you're you're selling shares. You're buying stock. You could they give you 25 bucks. You, you could you, you're instantly in the game. Whereas real estate, you need a good credit score. You need 30,000 down. If you want to do investment property, if you want uh yeah, well 30,000 down or yeah, depending on what type of unit you're buying. Um, if you want to do investment properties, 30% down. If you want to live there, it's 3% down. FHA loan, home, new home buyers class that you got to go through. So there's all these loopholes why people do stocks over real estate. Over the course, stock market will pay you immediately 7% return right away. So my buddy, he bought... Um, was a Rito stock today. He bought it at, I don't know, he bought it at like 50 cents. It went to 115. He forgot to sell it. And then it just plummeted all the way back to 97 cents. And by then it was too late. He made a ton of money, lost a ton of money. And that is why I don't like stocks. If he had sold when he bought it at dirt cheap and then sold it at 115, he would have had a successful day. But instead he waited for that one. 115 and three cents, 116, 117. Oh, this is going to go to 119. And it didn't. It turned the other way. Where real estate will never, ever do that. Real estate is a lot slower, which will give you a 3%. We're just talking basic yield. We're not talking cash flow. We're not talking anything. We're just talking basic real estate. We'll give you 
3% return, while stocks instantly 7%. But that's the problem with society. You guys want something quick, right? You could buy a three family, live for free on the first floor, collect rent and make some money. Now, a lot of people say, well, what about the, uh, the mama tour? Moratorium. 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 Me, um, how do you pronounce that? I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically you can't evict people from their house until after the 31st. Well, my retort to that is, why would you rent to someone that has a job? Why would you not do the due diligence and rent to someone that's on Section 8? That's a government paycheck. You get it every month on time. You get the bulk of the money. Your, your tenant will just have to pay the remainder. My buddy has a Section 8 apartment and his tenant pays 8 bucks. The government pays the rest. The tenant's responsible for eight bucks. On the other unit, the, 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 the tenant's responsible for 10 bucks. On his other unit, the, the tenant's responsible for $50. So if the tenant doesn't pay that $50 a month, who cares? He's still getting his 24 something. And that's the cash flow. He's not there. You always need a place to live. It's not like this crazy ebb and flow of, of craziness, which is with Apple. It's like last week they were at $400 a share. Then they split four for one. Then it was at 100. Then it climbed to 117. Then I don't know what the hell it is now. It's probably... Who knows what it is? I mean, stocks is so temperamental. It's like my... My newborn baby. One minute he's cool, the next minute he's crying blue murder. That's not for me. Real estate for me is a better investment. It's more stable. It makes more sense over time. Yes. It's a lot to get involved. It's going to cost you 3% down. Now you do the math. If you need a $300,000 home, you need 3% down of that. If you need an investment property, you're going to need to put down the 30% if you already have another loan. If you buy a home, if you get a, a first time home buyer's loan, you're going to have to live in the house for a year before you could move out. But to me, real estate just cruises. Real quick before I go, the Beige Book. Is it called the Beige Book? I don't know, whatever it is. I read it. The Beige Book, real estate, Boston, Chicago, L.A., strong. Consumer spending, mm. unemployment, mm. real estate in Florida, strong. Unemployment, down. Consumer spending, mm. and this is the trend. So throughout COVID, real estate has been shooting through the roof. Everything else has been down. I know guys, some of my best friends own nightclubs. Before COVID, you thought owning a nightclub was a good idea. It's not. Too many variables. Even when you own a nightclub, if it rains, if it snows, if they don't like the DJ, if they don't like the photographer, If they don't have anything to wear, if their friends are not going, if their ex-boyfriend or girlfriend are at the club that night, they're not going. Too many variables to not have a consistent, successful nightclub. One night, you sell all your tables. The next night, there's nobody's birthday. For some reason, nobody is born on a Sunday. So nobody's coming to your nightclub to buy bottle service. You thought owning a baseball team was a great idea or the New England Patriots. No fans, no money. Barbershop. Obviously, look at me. My barber hasn't made a hasn't made a penny off me in months. I look like dog poop. But what has been stable? Real estate. Climbing. I take a picture of a listing, a couple of days later, it sold. 
So to me, I think real estate is a better investment than stocks, but this is Bobby Shakes University, and what we're going to do is, over the course of, the, of, of this channel, I'm going to interview stockbrokers, and I'm going to interview real estate guys, and you guys can make the decision for yourself. But to me, real estate. Start saving your money and do real estate. But if you want to do stocks, click the link below, my Robinhood link below, and start investing today. A lot of spit. All right, um, I have to go and take my medicine um, congratulations to D. Urban. He's getting married today. Wish I can make the wedding. I can't because once I take my pain pills, because I'm, I'm high right now, but I'm coming down the next half hour. I got to take another dose. Once I take that dose, that's it. I'm in bed till about 10 o'clock. So congratulations to D. Urban on your marriage. I wish I could make it. Um, I don't know why when all my friends get married, I have surgery. Joey, my best friend, he got married. No, Danny Leonard, my best friend. He got married. I blew up my ACL. Joey Leonard, when he got married, I blew up my other ACL. D. Irvin, he's getting married. They operated on my rectum. Please, all my friends, stop getting married so I can stop having surgery. Again, let's get to two likes, 25 subs. Peace and love. Peace and love.